Hi there, this is DieCast Channel and in this video we're going to do a review on this 1966 Dodge Charger made in a 1 to 18 scale by Earl Authentics American Muscle. So please do subscribe my channel in case you haven't subscribed yet, stay with me to the end of this video. We're going to take a better look at this car and all its details. And also don't forget to give me a thumbs up to share this video and to click the bell for new... This car is clearly inspired in the Dodge Coronet. You can take it's almost like a Dodge Coronet convertible with a fastback top that was designed from here to here. And the rest of the car is pretty much a Dodge Coronet. This is for 1966 and it's a very nice and interesting car. A style that you either love or hate. This fastback reminds a little the Rambler Marlin that was made about the same time but it became an orphan car when AMC was acquired and distinguished by Chrysler. This model car has got very nice features such as a chrome trim that's all made in separate parts. The lock is a separate part, a handle is a separate part, a tram that goes around the fenders and around the wheel wells and around the window openings are all separate parts. So this makes a very nice detail and makes this car look much more realistic than the other model by Yacht Mains. This car has got a very good quality painting. The only issue is it's got some rashes right here on the hood that are starting to look like orange peel. I'm gonna do something about it. But in general, car is very nice. I've shown a 1966 Charger with a 426 Hemi in the past. Now I'm showing this with a 383, which is a smaller engine, but still a very powerful engine. This is a B-body that's an intermediate size by Chrysler. A unique grill for 1966 and 1967. 1966 and 67 were almost the same thing. The basic difference from 1966 to 67, when, when you look at the front of a car, is 67 would have those blinker repeaters right here atop the fenders. That's about it. The blinkers directional lights would be right here in these edges and the headlights are hidden right here in the grill. The headlights on just like a real car. This used to turn around just like a garage door and it's the same mechanism that existed in the real car. The engine is a 383 with a blue color with an air filter, wires, cables, reservoirs, spring pentagraphic hinge, just like in a real car. The hood is very realistic. It's got a hood latch and a hood trim that really look like the one in a real car. The engine has a very realistic paint in the battery with cables and wires. This car doesn't have a brake master cylinder, a radiator, radiator cap, and the reservoir that really look very realistic. With the open door, we can see the realism of the interior with a three spoke steering wheel with a wood grain pattern, the dashboard with all gauges that were mocked by very good quality stickers and decals. The pedals, there are gas and brake. This is an automatic car. It's got tilting seats in the front and in the rear. As we're gonna see, this car was a 2 plus 2 in the 1967. The central console was shortened to the end of the front seats instead of going all the way to the back. A lot of people complained that the console in the rear was somewhat uncomfortable. Seats, dashboard, gauges, steering wheel, paddles, carpet, floor mat, door panels are all very realistic. The rear seats, the left seat, that's uh, back in place. You could extend the trunk actually. And the other side, rear seat, that's also tilted forward. So we can tilt it back and it would be a two plus two. Several customers complained that this console was rather something in the way instead of meaning more comfort for passengers. So it was abolished in 1967 and just kept as a smaller console that would go just on the front seat. From the passenger side, gear lever, glove compartment lid that actually opens, carpet, Door mat, seat belts, door panel, they're very realistic. The antenna is also retractable, very nice detail. Vent windows are actually fixed instead of being openable like Highway 61 model cars. Headliner, that's also very realistic with the sun visors. You can really mistake this model car for a real car easily. From the rear end, one more difference between this car and the Dodge Coronet. Dodge Coronet had conventional taillights and this car had one piece taillight 
with a charger letters right here in the case of this model car they are made in photo etched the reverse lights are also made in acrylic they're very realistic they are installed here in the rear bumper which has a very good quality chrome and this rear badge is also very realistic this fastback top with this design is exclusive of the 1966 and 67 chargers the trunk had a small opening but this car was a sports car, it was not a station wagon or a pickup truck, so if you wanted to load more luggage in the rear, it would be better for you to have a sedan or a station wagon instead of having this fastback sports roof car. This was rather a sports car of a time. This trunk also had this lid here that could separate it from the interior of a car so you could put this up and isolate the interior from the luggage compartment and load a pretty reasonable amount of luggage in the rear. The spare tire was hidden underneath the carpet. The trunk lid has a paint in that simulates an anti-corrosion coating, jack directions right here in the sticker and the trunk latch. It also has a rubber seal that's mocked by the black painting and it's made with a very high quality the hinges are also very realistic the car from underneath those of top quality uh, Erdo Altanix has in their cars it has working rear and front suspensions working steering these wheels actually steer realistic color for the engine for the transmission spin and drive shaft as we turn the rear wheels we can notice pins realistic muffler tips and a gas tank and the subframe, since this car is a unibody, the leaf springs are also very realistic and they actually work, and the front suspension works as well. Due to it's in a box that doesn't have any screws, makes this base very nice, doesn't have any holes in here. This Dodge Charger is a very nice car to have on a diecast model car collection. It's got a very unique design, and today it's a collector's item. It's a very well-valued muscle car, and a car that no Mopar fan can miss. At the first glance, you either love it or hate it. This model car made by Earl Collectibles Authentics is made with a top quality, and all details are very well taken care of. Nothing was really forgotten on this car, and despite those rashes I have on the hood that I'm gonna try to repair, I would give this car a 10 from 0 to 10 because it's really awesome. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views, for all subscriptions. Please check your subscription and do subscribe in case you haven't subscribed yet. And also, please give me a thumbs up. This helps the channel a lot. Don't forget to share this video and write down your comments what you think about the video and about the car. If you have further information on this car, on the chargers or on any other Mopar you like, just let me know down in your comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.